Hey guys, how you doing? Dave here. A special welcome back to Cook and Share. I got thinking the other day, I love chili, I love spaghetti. Hmm, what am I going to make tonight? What about combining them? So I made some chili getty. It came out absolutely fabulous. It's quick and easy to make. Let me show you how to do this and let's get cooking. Okay guys, what I've got here is a pot of boiling water and I'm going to add in, oh I'd say about five or six ounces of spaghetti, enough for two or three people. And we'll just go ahead and let this boil for about nine minutes until it's just al dente. After about nine or ten minutes the pasta is al dente, al dente. So I'm just going to kill the heat, drain it and set it aside. Next up I'm going to add some oil to a pan and this is over medium-high heat. Then I'm going to add in a pound, which is about half a kilo of lean ground beef. Now I'm using the, the uh, lean, but you can use regular. Just have to drain it a little more. And just kind of chop this up. Now the beef is browned up. I'm going to add in a small chopped onion and about three cloves of garlic. And we'll just give this a stir once again, just for a minute or two, I would say, because we don't want to burn that garlic. Next up, I'm going to add in some red kidney beans that I've drained and rinsed. And this is about, oh, I'd say 16 ounces. 790 milliliters of diced tomatoes, and these are undrained. I'll do all the conversions in the blog, milliliters to, to ounces. A third of a cup of chili seasoning. Now you can make this from scratch, but I just bought it. It's a little easier. Some button mushrooms that I've chopped up, and this is about a cup and a half, I would say. A third of a cup of water. And a bit of salt and pepper. Not a whole lot because the uh, chili seasoning already has salt and pepper. Grab up my handy dandy spoon and give everything a stir just until it's nicely combined. Alrighty then, we're going to cover this and let it simmer for about 10 or 15 minutes. After about 10 minutes, I'm just going to remove the lid. Mmm, this smells so good guys. It smells like chili. Add the pasta in. And we'll go ahead and give this a toss. Just until it's nicely covered. And look at this, guys. It just looks and smells incredible. Sprinkle some mozzarella over the top. Mm -hmm. And then some grated Parmesan. And there you have it, guys. Our wonderfully delicious and easy chili getty. And garnish this up with a little bit more of that yummy Parmesan. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a taste test. Mmm, this is so good guys. The taste of the chili comes through. The spaghetti, it's exactly what chili getty should taste like. You gotta make this. For the full scoop on this recipe, head on over to cookandshare.com. All kinds of cool stuff over there. Thanks for watching, thanks for subbing. Stay safe and see you next time.